Hi, my name is Lori Ashmore Peters with the Ashmore Law Firm. I'm here today to talk to you about Betty White. I know many of you, or probably all of you like me, were so saddened to hear about her passing, just shy of her 100th birthday. And although we were saddened about her passing, if I had to guess, many if not all of you's next thought was, where did she leave her assets? Where did she leave her estate? It's presumed and alleged that she had about $75 million estate. And there's all kinds of speculation, rumors, assumptions as to what she did with that estate. Who did she leave it to? We know that she was not married. We know that she did not have any biological children, but we know she had stepchildren. We also know that she had a true love and passion for pets. But I am here to tell you, if she were to have died in the state of Texas, and all she did was leave a last will and testament that distributed her entire estate, it's public record. As soon as it gets deposited with the clerk's office to start the probate process, I, along with any of you, could go down to the courthouse, pull her will, and see exactly who she left everything to. But not only that, in the state of Texas, an inventory is required to be filed with the clerk's office. And what that means is at some point in time, we can even go down to the courthouse to see what she had, what she owned as of the date of her death. I am here to tell you that there is a way to avoid that. If privacy is a concern of yours, then you need to consider a trust. There are so many different estate planning vehicles out there to avoid probate, and I do recommend that you speak with a qualified estate planning attorney to see what your options and recommendations are based on your specific assets and your goals and objectives. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.